a commuter alert for people driving on the west side construction to turn 11th Avenue into a one-way street resumes. Good morning. I'm Chris Rank. I'm Mary Calvi. Thanks for starting your day with us. The Department of Transportation telling commuters to make a plan and have an alternative route. This comes after crews began working earlier this month, causing some commuter confusion out there. CBS News' Jenna DeAngelis is live with more on the work on the west side this morning. Jenna? Chris and Mary, we're on 11th Avenue near 57th Street. Right now, traffic is moving in both directions behind me, but crews are expected to be out here at some point this morning to continue work to make this stretch of 11th a one way street from where we are down to the Lincoln Tunnel. You can see there are signs up here alerting drivers to this traffic change. This is what it looked like earlier this month when the New York City Department of Transportation began the work. Backups and delays to the Lincoln. The change in direction took many drivers. Drivers by surprise, some were even ticketed. Beginning today, you'll see crews changing pavement markings and traffic signage on 11th from 57th to 52nd Street. That means cars will only be able to go southbound in this area. The DOT says this work is part of an ongoing project to improve traffic flow for cars headed to the Lincoln Tunnel and enhance safety. We asked a cab driver what he thinks of the change. When you're going uptown, 8th Avenue is congested, 10th Avenue is congested, so the other alternate is to go the 11th Avenue uptown. It's not a good idea. The DOT also plans to install pedestrian islands on the west side of 11th Avenue, as well as a bike lane between 57th and 43rd Streets later this summer. So crews were scheduled to start work as early as 5 o'clock this morning here. We haven't seen any of them out here yet, but we're told that the work between 57th and 52nd Streets, again, to make it one lane, is expected to take about one week. We're live on the west side of Manhattan. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jenna, thanks.